Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Got a card trick for you today called Jumbo Coincidence. I hope you like it. Got a couple of piles of cards on the table here, and you'll notice these cards look a little bit different from a normal deck of cards. Uh, these are actually a jumbo deck of cards that was cut in half. So we have two piles here. Now to start with, I would invite the spectator to grab either pile, free choice, let's say they grab this one, and give it a few cuts. Cut this pile as many times as they want, and when they're happy they would give this pile back to me. Now this pile, I'll go ahead and show you guys the faces. You can see they really are normal, it's just a, it's a normal deck of cards except bigger and cut in half, but otherwise they are normal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite the spectator to choose a card, or choose half a card technically. So I'm going to spread these out, and the spectator would reach in wherever they want and touch the back of a card. So I'm going to do it in this case, but a spectator really can pick any card that they want. It's a free choice. And we're going to leave that selection sticking out of the middle just like that. Now, you guys probably assumed, I didn't mention this up front, but this is a jumbo deck of cards that was cut in half. Now, what I mean by that is that there is half of a card in this pile, and the corresponding half is in this pile. Now, at the beginning, we mixed up the packets a little bit, cut them, and so chances are, as I go through the cards one at a time, we're not going to find the perfect match to each card. But you never know. We might get lucky once or twice. So I'm going to go through the cards one at a time, and we'll see if we find any perfect matches in the opposite pile. We have an 8 and a 10. No match there. Ace and a 6. No match. Now eventually we're going to run into the spectator's chosen card. No match. And there it is right there, the spectator's card. So I'm going to put this uh, off to the side for now. I'm also going to take the corresponding card in this pile and place it off to the side. We'll keep going through the rest of the cards here. And it doesn't look like we're going to have any perfect matches. And we don't. But that is OK. Again, the spectator could have picked any card that they wanted. They're normal cards, like I said, just bigger. But they selected, free choice, this half of a card over here. And it turns out that they selected the half of the three of spades. Now, hopefully, how cool would it be if the opposite card in the other pile was that other half of the three of spades, making one perfect complete card just like that. Now, not only that, because the spectator was so good at finding this perfect complete card, hopefully all we have to do is just give these piles a tap. And even though we went through, we didn't see any matches, by giving the deck, that magic tap, now all of the cards perfectly match. Nine of clubs, four of diamonds, and so on for the entire deck. Just like that. So that is the trick, you guys. It's called Jumbo Coincidence. Uh, I got this one off of Penguin pretty recently. So a uh, cool trick. It's something different. It uses you know something besides a normal uh, deck of cards here. It's something a little bit more visual, a little bit more fun, uh, and out of the ordinary. So uh, I would suggest picking this trick up or learning it uh, if you don't already know it. So uh, that is the trick. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, as always, I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to stop by my channel. So uh, come on back again soon, and I will 
See you guys later.